All right, so let's go take a look at the, the markets this morning. So let's look at this uh, let's double confirmation on when we're looking at these markets to get uh, short or long. Here's today's price action. Um, I sent out a chart yesterday to you. Um, Gerald sent out a chart yesterday when the market's in a stronger position or a weaker position. Let's take a look at when it's in a stronger position or a weaker position. These are the charts uh, you guys members got yesterday in the mailbox that Gerald sent out. So let's take a look at yesterday's price action. We'll look at today's price action. How can we turn, determine if the market's in a weaker or stronger position, meaning we're looking for a short or long side setup? Uh, the, the easy way to do it is that um, is to first look at your zones. Uh, your zones, if they're red zones, um, you're looking for short bias. If they're green zones, you're looking for long bias. Uh, we have two setups in the room. We have um, one would be our momentum setup, our momentum, and these are two sets we look for every day in the room. We have our, mom, our momentum setup, which is, uh, mo, well, actually, let's put it here, momentum setup. And what is that? Uh, momentum setup is categorized as the market trending in a hard vertical direction and looking for a shallow retracement with that market um, into our shallow zone, but it cannot exceed the shallow zone. That's a key rule to this. So you have to remember that this is a key rule for momentum setup. All right. The shallow retracements are these. These are these three levels. Uh, now this will be on your indicator, and you guys have it on your indicator now, but this is what's called a shallow retracement. All right. So you have a shallow retracement, meaning price when it retraces. If we're in a downtrend, well, red, 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 red bars, red bars, the shallow retracement would be here. Price cannot go back above this level. So if you're looking for here's a short momentum setup we had yesterday morning. Beautiful setup. The S&P pulled in at, what, 29 a quarter and went down to the order block of 10. Just a almost a 20-point S&P point play based upon this um, based upon this short momentum setup potential is because when the market started moving down, we had red zones, the market starts moving down, and here's how you anticipate this before it happens. These are leading indicators. If you come down, it looks like a little ABC, comes back up, but look at the shallow. It's, it's got to stay on this retracement. It has to stay below this zone, meaning in the zone or below, at or below the zone. You don't want to get into this deeper zone, and that's an FCR trade, a full zone retracement. So then what we're going to do is as we approach this zone, we can be below it. You want to be the best ones are below it or at it, and then we're looking for the market to pull us in if our dual confirmation comes below. Now, what's our dual confirmation? We want our large signal line below 20. We want our shorter signal line at least below 65. So 65 is here. 65 is there. That's a bear. I call it a bear. And our bear large signal line, the thicker magenta line, is below 80. So we want to be below 80. I mean, I'm sorry, below 20. Below 20, sorry. And then below 65 on our dual confirmation. So if you look at it as far as the algo goes, the so that you guys are going to be getting you would plug in your numbers if you want to take that setup you would put your your large signal line at 21 your small signal line at 7 and then your bear you put below 65 and 40 and then your second signal line i have it here 95 and 5 i have the larger signal line on this particular setup um below 5 and 95 because I, I want it pegged like this to look for really, really extreme setups. But you can put in 80, you can put in 80 here and you put in 20 there. You know, so, you know, but what I do, I, I like I like extreme values. Now, I'll show you how to do this in the PDF that you get with the update, but I like extreme levels like that. You got everything at a thousand ticks. Here's your trailing ATR. We'll go over all this stuff, but you can have dual confirmation right here with two toggle switches or single confirmation. Totally up to you guys. 
but what it does, it allows you to the when when your signal line gets below 80, it allows you to watch for a shallow retracement. So right when that signal line gets below the major signal line, here's how I like to do it. Right when this breaks below, right when that breaks below, right there, right when it breaks below 20, all right, that tells you, you already know your zone is red. You already know you're below the shallow retracement. So what it tells you is that you are in a possible major short setup. That's when you have to arm your system for trade management and trade entry or manually with chart trader pull yourself into the trade after a reversal bar comes in only if your your other right your other signal line is below 65 so if that happens you can pull yourself in as far as that direction so this is a trade that you can pull yourself in from there now you can use a trade management software like yesterday here to pull yourself into that trade right pull yourself into that trade and let it manage the trade for you so you can toggle that on and we're going to go over this in conference calls but using this dual signal line confirmation whatever you put that dual signal line confirmation is you can manage your trade like that uh with 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 the with the system so you know, a lot of traders will use the automation for that. They'll use it for confirmation, dual confirmation on a trade. So what they'll see is, is they'll see that we're getting, we're in a red zone. Price is getting away from the zone. So what they can do is they can toggle it on, toggle, the, toggle it on, knowing that we're getting below the zone. And knowing the big signal line is below 20, we're red zone, we're in a shallow retracement, and then they can let the, the uh, automation for trade management pop them in the trade and manage that trade all the way down until it stopped out at the level for them. So that's one way you can do it. Uh, that's why I think a lot of traders will utilize the system. They'll use the indicator and the automation together for trade management because a lot of traders, they won't hold for this whole move down. You know, a, a lot of traders won't, won't get short at 22 and bring it down to 12, you know, for, for 10 points as far as on this, this particular setup. So, you know, that will help traders manage the trade form. So that's something that, uh, that, that, that can assist you in doing that. But if, if you notice that the, the nice thing about dual confirmation is it shows you if the market is in a stronger position or a weaker position. So... As the zones are red and I'm moving down, as soon as that big signal line gets below 20, I'm ready for a setup. I'm ready for a momentum setup. For example, when we got below 20 here at this level, below 20, and the market starts retracing up into the zone, it breaks the shallow zone. So that is not a momentum setup in it no more. Because look at your oscillators down here too, dual signal lines. This one got above 20, did not stay below 20. So at this level, it told you that we're no longer in a momentum setup. That, that level right there, we're no longer in a momentum setup. My large signal line got above uh, 20. So that tells me that what? That there's no momentum in the market. Then it comes back up again, comes back down, comes back up. My signal line's still not below 20, still no momentum. Market starts getting drilled again. Then we get a retracement. Now my signal line, largest signal line is pegged below 20. So the retracement comes up. There's your retracement coming up to the 65. Pulls in. There's your entry because it does not get above the 65. So you can use the indicator for chart trader and have your own automated trail through Ninja Trader. They have an ATM strategy. Or I had this set up really well for you on dual confirmation where you can pop in these trades with dual confirmation and let it manage the trade for you because you have your automated stops. If it ever gets outside your trail that you put in, it'll stop out. Or it will keep you short your position until the, until the, um, until the trailing ATR gets you out. So that's one way to do it. I think a lot of traders will like doing that. 
and I go over a lot of examples in the PDF where, um, like I said, I got 100 and what, 65, 70 pages, we'll probably have 200 by everything said and done examples on this. So then the market gets down, that's a 20 point potential yesterday on the S&P. What happens? Market comes up, starts moving above the shallow. You move above the shallow, we're into the shallow, sorry. Look at your oscillators though. Is the signal line below 20? No. So when this turns in a red reversal bar, are we the big large signal line below 20? No, it's not. So momentum is dissipated, no trade. But what happens? What does it tell you it does? Look at the large signal line, what it does. It gets above 80 now. What does that tell you? Large signal above 80, now the market's in a stronger position. It's in my deeper zone now, right? Now, now, now momentum is off for sure. Momentum is off. So you see it got into a stronger position. Look at the small signal line. Now it stays above 40, but more importantly, it stayed above 80. That's an extreme momentum buy. So this actually told you at that level when that green bar came in, if you actually know how to trade the system, that is a possible counter move stronger position trade that could explode because what happens that's called a failure because you're in a stronger position this is more of an advanced setup but these are trades i love because what it does it lets you know the market's in a stronger position that's at the end of your zone looking for a trend change but if you want to be in more of a uh more with the market wait till it starts trending and look for it to get in a stronger position on the opposite side which it did so here we got a small pullback, market starts exploding above shallow zone. You're in a stronger position to look at the oscillator, your signal line's above 80 now, and we get the pullback. So, you know, that's how you do it. Let's get to today's action. So let's look at today's action since midnight. So here's all the action since midnight tonight. Let's let's take a look at these setups. So this is an extreme Momo cell right here. And it's a beautiful looking setup. Why? Because you can turn on, like I said, you can turn on your you can turn on your uh, your trade management software when it gets below the signal line gets below at 12, 11, 22. Right? Let's say you're just trading, don't look at the times per se, but this works 23 hours, 24 hours a day. So, but you, you see where the signal line below, we get the retracement, hits the order block, starts retracing. We're below the shallow. The second signal line is below 65. So that is a setup. That's a sell. Sell. <clears throat> if we come to the next one that happened this morning, as we retrace, we're below the shallow, which is good here. But look at our signal line. It's above 80. No trade. This red reversal bar is not a trade setup because there's too much strength in our larger signal line. That's why dual signal line confirmation is the way to go. All right, market comes up, hits a shallow retracement. No momentum though here. See, you still have no momentum because our larger signal line is not below 80, right? We want it below 80. It held the shallow zone, which is great, but this is not a momentum sell. A momentum sell you can see right now also do we have a momentum sell right now no what's this tell you there's not been any momentum in the market since what midnight last night or one o'clock in the morning the only this is how you how you can cherry pick your trades there's only been one momentum sell on this time on this Rico size on the 120 20 and that's it right there that's the only one we've had that's been qualified at 102 this morning a.m. we have had no momentum and you can see we have no momentum look at the market it's chopped so using this dual confirmation signal line with my zone, knowing a shallow and a deeper retracement, it lets you know that you are what? That there's no momentum in the market right now. There's no momentum trades. Now yesterday morning, big difference, or even right here, right? So if you look at 8.30, 8.30 in the morning, whoops. Yesterday morning is a lot different. Look at, look at the 8.30. We got below the signal line. My signal line is cranked below. So this is when you can turn on your automated software or use your chart trader to manually pop in the trade, but below 20, market starts cranking down. Red, 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 red. We're below the shallow retracement. We broke an order block that's positive for a short. Look at my major signal line getting pegged below 20. 
That's check number one. The second, when it starts tuning, turning the first doji is when you look, want to look for a possible entry. As soon as that doji forms, you get a, a green bar. If that green bar forms, check your sec second signal line out. Am I below 65? Yes, I am. That is your major short. 8.30 yesterday, it just got cranked to the downside. All right, so it comes again. We move along. Move along, move along. We have another one. We have a tweezer right through a major order block. Order blocks are major levels. Look for short. The signal line goes below. There's your signal line looking for a short. We're with the zone. When I get the doge comes up, I'm below my shallow retracement zone. This is a this is getting ready for a nice short in the market. And we go here. So you could you could see that how that works. You know, if you and this is not just this market, you know, if I go to the um I'll, I'll go to the Nasdaq futures. I know a lot of you are starting to trade the Nasdaq futures a lot. Uh, you know, same thing is that you're looking at uh you're looking for the market to pull you in when you're strong or weak. So here's a here's a major sell right there. You can see you can see them right away when they fire off. So if you want your major signal line. Get back to yesterday. So here's a major buy. So we're above our, we're, our signal line is pegged. So right when you get above here, you're looking for a buy on the NASDAQ. Your zone's got to confirm. They confirmed. You're above your 40 bull. Right there's your 40 bull. It erased when I changed, changed it over. But here, here's a great example of when you want to buy the NASDAQ. Here's. Uh, this morning, this is this is today's price action actually in the Nasdaq futures. But look how much the market moves. Look at that trade set up on the Nasdaq futures. Why? Because my major signal line holds above 80. My shorter signal line is above 40. Bull. Your audible alert fired off on your speakers right there. That's actually a first wave retracement too, which is great. Market explodes to the upside. A sell, and you find your sell set up. It shows a sell. Cell setups will be the same way. Here's a cell setup. Beautiful cell setup right here. Tweezer cell. Love this setup. Breaking through an order block. I'm pegged right here. You're getting ready for cell. Our major signal line got below 20. I'm, I'm stocking a cell, stocking a cell, stocking a short. I'm below the shallow retracement. Tracking real nice. Double, double doge tweezer comes up. First doji comes up. Is my signal line below my 65, which would be up here at the time? Yes, it's an extreme OMO sell. It's actually below 80, and that's your short entry on the NASDAQ futures. So you can see the difference in both of them. And, you know, that's the key is that, you know, show, show weakness, show strength. And then you can use the order management software if you want. If you use the order management software, when you want to turn this thing on, click it on and click it off. And some of you guys want automation around the clock, and that's fine, but... A lot of you won't want to do it and cherry pick your trades where if it gets below 20 right there, your signal line, that's when you want to turn on your automation software. It's a double click, turn it on, because the automation software, it will only look for the parameters that you put in. If it gets above 65 here on this retracement, the automation won't pull you in, right? Or if the signal line gets above, again, your parameter, then it won't pull you in. It's a really good way to manage trades, and we're going to go over that like I said, in conference calls. But that's how we use Indicator with automation um, together for a trade management software. Joe and I thought it would be a great idea to call it trade management because it manages your trade for you. Maybe if you get below the signal line um, and you do want to let it pull you in, uh, it will pull you in when these you get a reversal bar. Your automated stop will be your trail, and then it will trail as long as there's price action to that side of the market. So. You know, when, when you get that, like, you know, and it'll stop you off. So let's say if you have, let's see, let me show you a stop here real quick. So here's a stop. So here's a stop and here's a long trade. 
So what it'll do is, now I got a thousand ticks as targets, okay? A thousand ticks on four contracts. This actually was 40, this is yesterday. It had two trades, 32.50, a high is 37. So that was five S&P points or 20 ticks. So if you wanted not a thousand ticks, but 20 ticks, I put them out to a thousand ticks and then I put a trail on all of them, but you can adjust your targets, what you want to adjust. If you want four, four tick, eight tick, 12 tick, 16 tick, 20 tick target, whatever, you can adjust those and it will trail and you can adjust your trail also. But my point is, is that you can put, your stop will be your automated trail. You know, so you can do an automated trail like this and you can adjust your targets according to that. But if you look, it went into a stronger position. I got my signal line that cranked above 80. It held 40 retracement on the bull, fired in the trade, and went up 20 ticks. All right, this one, my signal line, it went back below. Here's my signal line. Automation software can be turned on. It comes back up. I'm below 65 bare. And then you get the automated trail that comes in. So that's how I'm going to train throughout the year. I'm going to show you when you can use the automation with the indicator or just use the indicator by itself with the audible alert. You know, some traders will do either one. And hey, if some of you want to do like a lot of testing and they're like, Phil and other ones in the room, they love, you know, full automation. If you find settings that you love to do, you know, and, and it's working for you, then, then suit to each its own. But I'm, I'm going to show you how you, you should know when the market's in a stronger or weaker position on how I train you and how I educate traders way before this even comes up. We know right now, way before this market even comes up on the NASDAQ futures, right now we're looking for a short. So as live data clicks right here, am I looking for a long or short position? I'm ready for a short. My signal line is below 20. I want to hold below there of 65. So I want to hold there below 65 up here. Because look here, it got into a weaker position when trend changed. Look how it held below 65, went right to it, went down. But now I'm looking for this shorter oscillator, the smaller signal line, not to exceed, just like here, 65. So as we tick back up, I got to hold the shallow retracement here. If I hold the shallow retracement and price starts coming back up, I want to watch for the first doji. As price comes up, it wants to stay, has to stay at that zone, cannot break the zone. Then we're going to look for a continuation to the downside. So right now we're setting up for a sell setup on the NASDAQ futures as we speak. And this is how this is a leading, in, a leading dual confirmation. These zones are key though, all right? We did 30 years back testing on these zones, all right? So these zones are very, 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 very important. You know, so we have to make sure that we understand that. Now, see, here's your doji. Here's your green bar reversals. As we reverse back up, I want the signal line to hold below 20, and I want this hold below 65 when we get another reversal. If that happens, we're going to have a setup. So you want to watch as we come back up. You'll want to see this hold. You'll just want to see this hold the shallow. But watch your oscillators as they tick back up. You want the smaller oscillator to hold below 65, hold below here. Now, if you wanted uh, automation, you would turn it on right back here when your signal line broke below 20, if that makes sense. All right, now we, we busted through 65. So what does that tell you? No setup, right? So there's no momentum in the market. We're not looking for a momentum setup. So if the, when this gets a red bar reversal right here, if it gets red bar reversal, it's no trade, right? Because look, it exceeded 65, went to 80. That means this thing could be very shallow, right? We want this to confirm. We want to confirm to see trades that can follow through, right? But that shows you how it sets itself up. It shows you the shallow, as long as I'm below a shallow retracement, this price should continue down. But I want my dual confirmation to confirm, okay? It's a pretty neat setup when they both confirm. But, but see, since it's stronger, this could go down just a little bit and then take out the high. We don't want that. We, we don't want this turn in a green ball reversal taking out this swing now. But it told us right here, our signal line's above 80. 
our major signal lines above 65 so it told us the market's in a stronger position so now we don't want to put our monies at risk because it is in see it's just shallow it's no strength there's no sell setup because I'm seeing major signal lines above 20 now it's in the shallow major signal line above 20 there's no trade now the next trade we have possibly is a FZR now FZR will be this so the momentum is off can't trade a momentum because our signal lines are off now this is my last zone called an FZR zone this is what's called an FZR or I call it WPT a, a wrongly positioned trader zone and what that is is WPT or FZR what that means is wrongly positioned traders are going to get caught inside the zone and trapped so what happens is is that if we do get in the zone sometime if it does get into that zone we don't want it can it can you want it to hold below this outer zone so this is called an FZR these are momentum anything below shallow right and right now it's a shallow retracement non-confirmation of dual confirmation to pull in so no trade but if we dig it into this zone then we have what's called full zone retracements now full zone retracements you want one thing you want to see an order these things can be very 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 uh, nice trades why because they come out the zone with vengeance if things line up if you have an order block an order block is, is basically a supply demand line if there's an order block inside of your FCR this happened this morning at 830 on the Nasdaq futures right here it's inside the zone I'm holding my zone I have an order block my lines going right through that an order block they're extremely important if you have an FZR trade and I go over this inside of the PDF that's why we do videos on this if you have an order block that is inside the zone then what you want to do is look for a push outside of that zone do we get it yes we do we have confirmation what you can do you can wait for your oscillator now if it's an FZR now you want your signal line to come up through 20 for a momentum FZR to get momentum in the market or you want your smaller signal line to come through 20 some of them like to some of you like to let it go through 40 for confirmation of momentum but look at that move in the market once you get confirmation coming up through 20 93 and a half it went all the way up to what 10 so it was just a beautiful move to the upside of a 17 uh, Nasdaq points just like that what it did it came up and look what it came into so this is an FZR we trade a little bit differently this is an FCR what it go right into then it right went right into a momentum trade because look the, the signal line is pegged above pegged above 80 my smaller oscillator stayed above 40 then you got uh, a level like that also okay so that's what you're trying to do you're, you're trying to see when we come into the shallow do I have dual confirmation oscillator to pull in and when I come into the deep FZR do I have my oscillator pull me in as far as that goes now right here again we're coming up can I hold the shallow zone I got order block there I'm holding right at 65 this is going to be a setup if it turns right now but it's got to turn right now my signal line below 20 no trade right so now they can get a lot of setups during the day but you can see how that dual confirmation oscillator will let you know which ones could possibly go majorly vertical in the market for you upside or downside look how my oscillator signal line got above 20 before we get pulled in so guess what even though it's below the shallow retracement we do not pull in that's how you qualify trades leading setup leading indicator look how it holds my shallow retracement holding again my shallow retracement my zones by themselves are very very powerful but I'm taking it to another, another level by qualifying momentum and that's dual confirmation uh, below all right so we go with that in like I said it'll be all right uh, it's 165 70 pages now the PDF on tons of examples uh, but you can see how my zones are very very key in my order blocks now we just qualify by cherry picking trades uh, you know to help our accuracy and then our stops are always two ticks above the swing we at the zone if this trade is wrong so if you were short here in the shallow zone your stop would be two ticks above the swing or if you did an automation it would be your trailing ATR